you're dismissed. Now, Captain, I want to make sure that all the preparations are coming along perfectly for the saints' arrival. Absolutely, my lord. I must agree with their servant Paul when he stated, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the hearts of men the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Perfect, Captain. It must be perfect. Yes, my lord. I informed them that I was preparing a place for them. And when they get here, Captain, I want them to see that it was worth the wait. Ah, Captain, I know that you and the others don't understand the plan of my father and me, but know that I want everything to be perfect for them when they get here. Oh, I love them greatly. <laughs> and you have poured out your love without measure, my Lord. The list of those that will be attending your wedding feast is growing more and more, my Lord. There are a great number of souls turning their backs to Satan and his devices and are accepting you as their savior. And that's wonderful, Captain, but it's still not enough. When I went down to shed my blood, I did it to redeem the whole world. Not just the chosen few, but there's still those who refuse to accept my gift of eternal life. And some of those that had accepted me have turned and walked away. Oh, Captain, I dare not think of those who don't even believe in me at all. If they would just trust me, Captain, trust me. He would know I would never allow Satan to overtake them. I understand, my Lord. But know that the angels were preparing ourselves every day awaiting your command. And on that great day, both Satan and all his demons will be cast into the pit forever. It is my desire that every man, woman and child, would repent and choose me as I've chosen them. But as my word says, Captain, my return to earth is coming soon and and when I go, I must go quickly. He's near. Who, my lord? <laughs> what? I hope you fellas don't mind me interrupting. <laughs> Man, if you I'm get in, up on my I'm way. sorry, I'm in hell. I, I, uh, Say, you must show respect to the Lord. Ah, uh, Captain. What? Stand down. I like that too. <laughs> See, devil. One more time. You old sloop for devil. You old pigeon toe devil. You old cross eyed devil. Man. <laughs> devil is one word. I'm just talking about Satan. Give an account. Where have you been? Come on, man. You know me. I've just been out, you know, doing my thing. Why you so serious? Boo! <laughs> You're toothless. Oh, no, oh, you think you talk? I, I, I got this. Don't you talk about the Prince of Darkness like that? Do you know who he is, man? I will. Get Jesus. Oh. Man, I will. Satan. trying to add as many people to my kingdom as you have in your kingdom. That's right. And if I must say so myself, say it, say it. my kingdom is looking really, really good. Quite lovely. <laughs> know that the only power that you have has been given to you by my father. So don't you even think of touching, tormenting, or afflicting one of his children without his permission. Do you understand that? <laughs> ah, so touchy. Right. I know the rules. <sighs> but don't you forget one thing. Your father has given me all the power <laughs> over the atmosphere down there. So anybody that want to follow your boy, they can. And trust me, they will. You may have the atmosphere. I do. 
but I still have the keys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about those keys. You know, if you would just give me the keys, and I'll just forget all this ever happened. That simple. Just give me the keys. Bow down and worship me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll forget this ever happened, all right? Ooh, See, that's so how you put it down, man. You so just let it know, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make it up! You know what? Let me get up out of here, because I can't go down no more. Listen. <laughs> we got some business to take care of, so we going to bounce, all right? <laughs> no, boss. We ain't got nothing to take care of. I'm we take do care got of some business. The business I was telling you about before we came up in here, remember? <laughs> no, hold on. You didn't tell me about no business. Man, I told you about some business. What business you talking business? about? Just come on, man. You just big for nothing. <laughs> Lord, if you just, I just want uh, an opportunity. Captain, Captain, Captain. It won't be long before we put Satan and all of his demons in their rightful place, which is the lake that burneth the fire and brimstone. Do you have the list of today's arrivals? Yes, my Lord, I do. Here's the manifest which contains the names of those that will be called into judgment this day. Thank you. Make sure that all goes as the Father has planned. Yes, my Lord. All flights are to leave and arrive as scheduled. Absolutely, yeah. By the way, how are those mansions coming along? Ah, uh, you know they must be perfect, my lord. They will be perfect. Uh, amen, yeah. Captain. Amen. As a matter of fact, I had a question. Is there any fight? Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? I heard that. Yeah, he wants his plan to be perfect. <laughs> Too bad we gonna spoil that perfect little plan. That's right. <laughs> uh. Boss, how are we gonna do that? By coming up with a better plan. Right, a better one, better. Okay, but, but uh, how are we gonna do that, boss? <laughs> Look, we gonna turn as many people from serving him into serving me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you the brains. Okay, but one don't thing. Don't say but again. Don't don't say but again. Boss, but listen. You got, you got little power. You, I mean, you got power all right there, but they got all this type of power. I mean, you got to ask his father, can you even do it? You got to ask his father, can you? What? Don't you think I know that? I know what he got in store for me. Come here, I ain't done talking. Sending me out into the, out of darkness. With the Dark. gnashing of the teeth. <laughs> and the pain. Screaming and the torment forever. And oh, oh, oh. oh, no, 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 dog. I didn't sign up for that. I want to go to hell. I want to go. Don't <laughs> ever pick me up like that again. Pull yourself together. You're too big to be crying like that. Stand up. I'm sensitive. <laughs> There ain't no hope for us. But there's no reason for us to go into the pit alone. So why not take as many people to the pit as we can? But we gotta move fast. I need you to get all the top demons together. Greed, lust, pride, everybody. Tell them that I wanna meet them. ASAP. ASAP. I think you broke a rib. Okay. We gotta get greed, lust, and uh, 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 yeah, I, okay. I'll call him, boss. I'll call him. Oh, it's gonna be great. <laughs>
Now, I need something bigger. I got you. Something that they won't see coming. <laughs> well, you ugly this. Girl, I'm cute. Whatever. I, I would like for you to give me and my boys another shot. I think huh? we can do it. <laughs> and what's going to be different this time, huh? Right. Please, why would we trust you to handle the problem? What? No, I here. You can't be serious. Don't it's because of me that the world's in the horrible condition it's in today. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Who's behind all the corporate scandals that fill newspapers every day? Greed. <laughs> <laughs> or, or who's responsible for crooked cops and crooked politicians? Greed. Or tell me this. Who's responsible for the fact that there are millions of Americans without health insurance? Welfare is being cut off. <laughs> and the poor are getting poorer. Wow. The rich, they're getting richer every okay. Greek, that too. I rest my case. Mm. Girl, please. Greed even, even, even a fraction of what's wrong with the world today. Oh, really? So I take it pride as the problem then? Exactly. You better believe it, baby. <laughs> please. The world is full of it. Mm. Institutions are driven by it. The chat, wow. <laughs> the chat is plagued with it. All right. And poor peasants wallowing it. Mm. Pride. So you got to understand that the sin of pride is at the forefront of every sin. Let us not forget that it is the sin of pride. They got our great leader's name changed from Lucifer to Satan after he was cast from heaven for rebelling against God himself. <laughs> All right, Blackie. <laughs> he got you on that one. Whatever. See, I stand here proud to say that where the spirit of pride exists is very often that the spirit of God does it. And that, my friends, is what we need more of around here. I rest my case. Mm. Sweet that was a great presentation. I know, right. I know. <laughs> but it didn't help me. I need something else. You can always give me another chance. <laughs> Girl, I need whatever you want. Excuse me. We appreciate your help, sweetheart. But I really think you need to lead this one to the big boys. That's right. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> because the last time I checked, it's because of me that you two boys are so close in the first place. Oh, no! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I you said it! Put your hands you knew it, man! You got rhinestones on your face? Don't put your hands up. That's him. Uh-huh. Rhinestone cowboy. Listen. This ain't no bro back here. Now, Lust. Uh-huh. You have caused a lot of confusion. I have. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand how it's not gonna help me in my situation today. Right. <laughs> you feel me, Dad? <laughs> right. Like you're going to have people walking around singing, I was born <laughs> this way. Maybe it don't work like that. It don't work like oh, that. Oh, you see, it's comments and thinking like that that has caused my job to be that much easier. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you can have my bank account. My bank account number is 55666. Hey, hey, how you gonna sit there and let her rub your head and change your mind? Man, please. Can't nobody rub my head and change my mind, bro. Hey, Lust. Yeah, come over here, girl, and show them what I'm talking back. You sure you wanna come do that? On. Yeah, yeah. You don't know nothing. This is how we do it, bro. Yeah, for real. No, don't, don't, don't bring it with me. Don't bring it with me. Oh, you lost one. <laughs> You see, there is more to lust than homosexuality and lesbianism. But see, that's what has everybody's attention right now. So why not roll with it? <laughs> I have the ability to bring so much more to the table. Guilt, low self-esteem, anger, addiction. Do you know how much money I've brought in through adult entertainment only this year? Yeah. Between 10 to 13 billion dollars in one year. How many marriages 
have I broken up? How many churches have I ripped apart? How many lives have I destroyed? <laughs> oh, and don't ever knock my parades. Because the more parades they have, the more they have a false sense of normalcy. Well, look, <laughs> boss, whatever it is, they talking like we ain't got a lot of time, so. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh! <laughs> what about writing about bones? <coughs> we don't have a lot of time. Right, right. And, and, and that's good, cuz. <coughs> what is the one thing that everybody think they have so much of? That man, I got a lot of pennies. I got a lot of roaches, receipts. I got white pennies. No, I got a lot of forks. Man, y'all stupid. Time. Oh. Right, right, right. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> See, the crazy thing is, no one really knows how much time they really have before their name end up on that list for judgment. See. Our job is to make them believe that they have all the time in the world to make a decision. <laughs> okay, okay, um, I get it. So I can say stuff like, why rush, little girl? You're only 15. You haven't even graduated <laughs> high school yet. I like that. Or, ooh, okay, how about, God knows your heart. He knows you want to stop sleeping around. It's just a bad habit. That's you know, good. Like, that's good. Then I can say, man, do you know? Ooh, my neck hurt. They, I can say, man, do you know how many people have confessed on their deathbed? Man, wait till you get old. Right. Then yes. get saved. Yes. They having they fun out here. Why do you have to miss out? Right. Listen, man, God gave them a chance. He will definitely give you a chance. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's got to be our most brilliant plan yet. <laughs> Did you say our? Oh, Deb, I meant your plan. I'm sorry, man. Oh, oh what about I'm this? I'm sorry. No rush. <laughs> no hurry. They told your grandmother and her grandmother back when she was a little girl mm. that Jesus was coming back real soon. <laughs> and he ain't back yet. That's all just a little scare tactic to keep yeah. you from having a good time. That's all. What this is that? brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go prepare the other demons. Okay. Tell them that uh, operation. Operation. Procrast. Procrast. Procrastination. Procrastination. <laughs> <laughs> is in full swing. Yeah. <laughs> but we must keep the Bibles out of their hands. They must never know that we've already been defeated. Or this whole plan will go down the drain. See, they could never know that I am powerless. Against the, well, you know I can't say his name. We know, we know the What are you talking about, boss? You talking about Jesus? Man, come here, come here, come here. Why would you? Get out! Come here. Come here. Don't say that, David, it makes me nervous. My bad, my bad, my bad. Well, boss, my bad. My bad. boss, what if they find out that you, you're, you're not powerless? Like, we already been defeated. You're not omnipresent. You can't be everywhere at the Excuse same time. Me? Like, well, I mean, what if they fine. find out? This you know what? She's kind of right. You know, you can't be everywhere at one that's time. Right. right. And then what if they find out that everything. What if they find out? You can't be everywhere. Who's sad are y'all on? We on your side. We on your side. We on your side. Yeah. You're the man. Okay. I think y'all are forgetting who y'all talking no, to. No, you lost. Know, you lost. Know, you lost. Know, you know, you know, go get my stool. No, no, no. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to show y'all who y'all talking to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know I can't get up here by myself. I'm gonna show y'all who y'all talking to.
see, I am the author of confusion. That's it. That's it. Oh, you you are I am the great deceiver. But above all, but above all, I am the king around here. That's yeah, right. That's it. That's it. What? what? The, the, the king. king. The king of lies, that is. Oh, my. Oh, oh. oh, whoa, whoa. You know I can't get down by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, if you would just return to your seat just for a few more moments. Look, I'll I don't right. have time for this. I've got a very important meeting to get to. I'm sorry, sir. If you would just return to your seat, I'll be right with you. Thank you. Look, you don't know who I am, do you? I could have your job. Yes, I know exactly who you are. You're Mr. Jesse Johnson, Jr. You were born at 322 p.m on March 25th, 1965, at William Beaumont Hospital to a Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Johnson, Sr. You're a multimillionaire, yeah. not including those monies you have hidden in those from your wife in your offshore accounts. Hey, be cool with that now. So as you can see, Mr. Johnson, I know precisely who you are. So you would just go back and take your seat. You won't be attending that meeting today. Oh. Well, you need to just hurry up then. What's going on? What was that about? The same old thing it's always about. They're not ready. What? Yeah. Not ready? How can they not be ready? I mean, how many times do you have to hear that your date is coming to face God? I just don't understand. You know, it makes me think about that day out at Calvary. You remember, right? Ooh, of course I remember. Are you kidding me? The greatest day in the history of mankind. I mean, just to see Jesus yeah. going through all that pain and all that agony just for them and they have the nerve to get here and not be ready? Not now, Chief, you know we were ready. Do you know how many angels are in 12 legions? And I kept my sword just waiting on him to call mm, us. Yeah, yeah. All that for them. And then they get here and they're not ready. Now, Chief, if it was me, I would have been ready a long time ago. Angel, 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 pull yourself together. Sorry. Hey, you see, it's not up to you. It's up to them. We were not and cannot be redeemed. So that means if we mess up, we're out. So if I were you, I would just stop worrying about them and let's just do what we were assigned to do, and that's to get them on this flight to the judgment. So now, are we ready to start boarding? Yes, we're ready. No. All right, let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Yes. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Welcome to the IM International Airport. Shortly, we will begin boarding flight 777, bound for judgment day. Please be advised that it will only be one stop made on this flight and added to the judgment only. Judgment. Please do not ask any of the flight angels where you will spend eternity because that is not our decision. Wait a minute. People, please. People, please. You made that choice before you arrived here today. Our only responsibility is to make sure that everyone is accounted for. So please remain seated, and my assistant here will give you further directions. Once again, this is I Am Flight 777, bound for Judgment Day. Please, no excuses as to why you shouldn't board your flight, and there will be absolutely no standby flights today. Everyone that is here is supposed to be here because God makes no mistakes. So again, when your name is called, please just board your flight, and we can get everybody on this flight in a timely fashion. Thank you. Have mercy on me. Oh, God, I can't believe it. Have mercy, Lord. Yes, Lord, have mercy. Ain't much that can be done for any of us now. We all heard the truth, and it was up to us. But, Pastor, you preached the truth, and nothing but the truth, Pastor. Oh. 
Nay, nay, I am so scared. How do we get here? Andrea, please stop asking me all these questions, all right? Look, I gotta worry about myself. Now, you gonna have to fight for yourself. You old enough. Fight? Uh-uh, fight who? Come on, you please fight and who? Andrea, you do you and I'm gonna do me, okay? I gotta worry about me right now. That's all you ever worried about was you. What about me, please? Andrea, you better watch your mouth. Watch how you talking to me in front of all these people before you get your little face smacked. Now, you done lost your mind. Go on and get away from me. You make me sick. Well, go to the doctor then. Mm. Move. What? Y'all all up in my face? Oh, I, I, I don't believe this. I don't believe this, God. Oh, Pastor, don't you worry about nothing now. Everything gonna be just fine. You getting worked up. Why over? are you over here? Huh? Haven't you done enough? Pastor. Don't touch me and stop calling me pastor. You know it, exactly what I'm talking about. Go. go. You go. Up to you. <laughs> he be tripping, huh? Boy, bad. Hey, 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 I was just, oh, okay. So you like the preacher type, huh? Okay. I feel you. <laughs> well, well, when our sister Karen, let's give little pastor, our pastor a little time by himself. Lord, look at him. He probably over there thinking about first lady and them cheering and how they gonna get along without him. But they gonna be just fine. God's gonna take good care of pastor, that first lady and them cheering. You know, they sacrificed a whole lot for that church. Now you tell me what pastor you know. See they members at the store and pick them up and take them home. And tell me you was at the same store when they picked you up. Mother. Well, well now ain't that something? Now I know you stayed not too far from me. But who else but God would send pastor from way downtown at his house then let me see y'all when y'all was coming out the store. I tell you, I was sitting on my porch and I told my, say, I told my son, I say, son, that, that looked like pastor coming down the street. I raised up out my chair like this and went to waving like this here. <laughs> Lord, because you know I'm one of his best members. He stopped and talked with me and I said, Lord, that car sped up so fast like one of them old speeding demons. <laughs> say, Lord. Kind of like one of them old speeding demons, like the ones that hit us. I, I, I never seen them coming, did you? Mm, no, my Well, now, nah, see, that's why I lived my life ready, knowing that one day I was going to meet him, and today is that day. I just want to touch him. Excuse me. May I help you? Um, yes. My name is Monique Carter. They, they told me that I should be here. Can you, can you please tell me what's going on? Am I really dead? Ah, Miss Carter, right on time. Please take a seat, and we'll begin boarding your flight shortly. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me, is somebody sitting here? Uh -uh. All them seats over there, why is you over here? Oh, girl, go on and sit down. Don't come over here with all that crying. I ain't trying to hear all of that. Sure. You, know what? you are so right because nothing can change now, right? Nothing is going to change. Uh huh. Hold up. Don't say all that. Because if it don't change, I'm hit. <laughs> oh, my. You calm down and I'm going to calm down, okay? Just calm down. We're going to calm down together. Oh, Lord. Ooh, I got nervous. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, where are my manners? My name is, my name is Nene. My real name is Renee, but all my girls call me Nene, so just call me Nene. Hi, Monique, it's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> Monique. Yeah. Girl, I know you from somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Girl, I know you used to hang out on Seven Mile, didn't you, girl? No. 
No, no, I stayed in Berkeley. <laughs> Girl, same thing, same thing. <laughs> Y'all say Coolidge, we say Schaefer. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Y'all say Lasser, we say Lasher. <laughs> Girl, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I wasn't saying it like that. I was just saying I, I never grew up there. Oh, it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> I promise I know you from somewhere, though. I can't figure it out. No. Nope. Oh, I just have one of those faces. <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm a customer, so I'm yeah, going. Yeah, going over there, all that crying and stuff, I can't do that. That's just too much crying. We will now begin our boarding with Miss Lisa White. Hi, I'm Lisa, and look, I, I know that you said today that everybody here today is supposed to be here, but th there's got to be some sort of mix-up because, you see, I'm only 35, and, and I've never been married, and, and, I, and I don't have any children. You know what? I think I know what the mix-up is. My aunt, my mom's sister, see, she was the one that was diagnosed with cancer 15 years ago, and, and she's still alive, and that, that, that's, that just can't be right. And the thing is that, you know what, my mother named me after her. We have the same first and last name, and I know that's where the mix-up is, so if you just check your book, you can send me back right now. Let's see here. Miss Lisa White, date of birth, March 6, 1977, to a Miss Penny White. You never met your father. You were raised by your grandparents, mother and Deacon Curtis White. Wait, Deacon White was your granddaddy? I love Deacon White. My that man. was one of my best pastors. You know what? He was ready to born before we even got to his name, so I Listen, know you gotta be ready. Gotta be ready. I know it. You don't understand what I'm trying to tell you here. Look, I just purchased a brand new condo, and I just made partner with Johnson & Gamble. Do you know how many nights I had to stay up studying just to get my double masters? Just so I wouldn't end up a druggie like my mother? Come on now. Look, I, I was dealt a bad hand from the very beginning. And you know what? I deserve to go to heaven after all the hell I went through all night. Now you check your book. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. For it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith, this not from yourselves. You're just it not is gonna listen. the gift of God, not by works. So you see, Miss White, it was a gift. A gift that you rejected and cannot accept at this time. I did not reject him. Come on, it just wasn't necessary for me to be going to church, going down the aisle and rubbing all that oil on me, making me cry so they can be all up in my business. You know that's all they want to do. Look, my relationship with God was in my heart. And it was personal. And I didn't need no lying preacher telling me how I should live either. Now, like I said, check your book Lisa, and send me back. You have to understand. It's more than having God in your heart. You need to you understand. You had to live a holy and upright life before God. You had to serve God, Lisa. Angel, that's you enough. That's enough. It's not our job to convince them of anything at this point. Wait a minute. What's done is done. Wait a minute. Miss so what White. are you trying to say to me? Please, boy. Come on, you give it to me straight. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say I got to go to hell? For what? Please, boy. Please, boy. Oh, no. You can keep your ticket. Who are you? Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me, I said. You know what? I'll walk before I let you take me. Nene, I am so scared. Get away from me, Andrea. Ooh, I'm scared. Honey, you, you are so young. How did you get here? I was just at the house with Nene, and we was just smoking a little weed before we went out. And we, we, we thought that it tasted and smelled funny, but it was just weed. I don't remember anything after. And next thing you know, we were here. I don't know what's going to happen. 
a little weed, just a teeny. Do you, do you even know the long-term effects of that stuff? Do you even know the boy that you got it from? He was new to the school and they told me he sold weed, so. So you decided to buy marijuana from a guy you don't even know, and now you're here because you have no idea what he laced it with that killed you. And you'll never know now. And what would, why in the world would a grown woman be smoking weed with a teenager anyway? She's almost twice your age. Who, oh, Lady? <laughs> yeah? What, girl, me and my mama hang out all the time. Yo, your mama? mama? Yeah, you? she said that we were more like sisters and mother and daughter, so she wanted me to call her name a girl you would not believe how childish the girls are my age. Ain't that Wait, mama? okay, wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me mama. that you hang out and smoke and party with your mother? Yeah. Wow, Nick, come on, how could you? What? Oh, so you was over here telling our business? No. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna deal with you. Step over here. Jeez. Let me tell you something, Monique. First and foremost, we ain't cool. No, I... Uh-uh, don't call me Nay-Nay. You can call me Renee. Okay, you Renee, feel me? No, 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 no. Don't speak on me, sweetie, because you don't know me. I you know. got me? And let me tell you God, something. We so you call yourself over here telling she on me? She was just asking a bunch of questions. And I you had to answer her? Yeah, okay. Jesus Let me tell you Christ. something. Hear me and hear me well. Oh, what I do with my child okay. is my business. You feel me? Because she's that's just true. that. My child. Now stay up out my mix. <laughs> I'm going to deal with you. Mama, get don't. off me. I, we know her from somewhere. I know that, and I can't figure I it out. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I know you from somewhere. <laughs> Did you used to work at that check and go over on the east side? No, no, no. I was a branch manager for Chase. Oh, same thing, same thing. Sit <laughs> down. I was not talking about you. Who you talking to? Excuse me. My name is Karen. Is anyone sitting here? Oh, no. Please have a seat. It's fine. Thank you. Have a seat. Oh, gosh. Man, it's so scary here. I know, right, girl? Oh my, my name is Anna, girl. My, it is so real, isn't it? Yeah. But I can understand you being afraid, girl, because this is life and death, okay? Right, right. Real talk. Um, and he was really a great pastor. He was. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry? Um, pastor Marks, I know. This ma'am? Yeah. Ma'am, have a nice day. Thank you so uh, much. I, Anna, Anna, listen, please. Oh, I don't Lord. have nobody else Jesus. to talk to. Will okay, you yes, to my story? Yeah, I will. Okay, this is how I really went down. Okay. See, I was in the process of looking for a new church home. Uh -huh. Now, I had just got divorced from my second husband. Okay. Now, we were going to the same church, and he told me that he wasn't going to leave the church we was going to. I thought it was quite stupid, because I was the one that brought him to the church in the first place. Oh, yeah. yeah that was after I went on this old bogus website. I think it's called blackfolkchurchmeet.com. So you on there? Yeah, trying to find me a home. Girl, that bogus mess. Don't go there trying to look for no man, because you ain't going to find not a one. Okay. Uh -huh. I remember. That was after I met my first husband, Bob. Bob. Bobby, oh my God. God, Bobby was so fine. What? Hey! Glory, that man was so fine. But the problem was, every other woman thought he was fine too. It happened. We wasn't married a full six months before he diversified his portfolio. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's good, yeah. we, we cool, it's cool. I was going over to Pastor Mark's church. Uh -huh. Then I decided, decided to go over to Reverend church. Wonderful, wonderful church. So I went on, I joined, and that's where I met my current husband, Ronald. Now, Ronald, he's a little different because he's a little bit older than I am. But I think it's something so distinguished about an older gentleman. <laughs> so, this Ronald guy is your third husband. Baby, if at first you don't succeed, Dust yourself off and try again. Here you go. Dust yourself off and try again. Ah! Shut up! Sorry. My story. And our song. So, were you married? No, I wasn't married. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing, but I mean, what was the issue? I mean, what was the problem? 
That was I mean, funny. You look nice looking, girl. What was the issue? I mean, what was the problem? Karen, I wasn't looking, okay? Ooh. I was waiting on the Lord to allow him to find me. That's the right way. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you know what, Karen? Whatever. Believe it or not, you and I are not that much different. Oh, really? What I'm trying to say is that I, I used to try to find happiness in everything else, too. Really? Including men. Wow. I mean, I just saw how men could just get away with anything that they want, Karen. I mean, if a man slept with a woman, girl, he could not believe just as fast as he got there and never even look back. Yeah. So, one day I said to myself, self, if it's good enough for them, then it's good enough for me. Right. So girl, let me tell you something, okay? I started living my life without any reservations, okay? I don't care who came and who left. I did whatever made Anna happy, okay? Uh, if I wanted that man, I had him. And when I was tired of him, I left without any explanations or apologies. I mean, men have been doing it for years, so why couldn't I? Yeah, you're right. But then, Karen, um, one day I was sitting on the side of my bed and all the numbness from every pain of every bad decision, everybody that ever left me and every dead relationship, all that pain came crashing down on me all at once. Mm -hmm. And I just sat at the side of my bed and I was so devastated that I couldn't even move. I just sat there and I cried and I cried for hours. Mm -hmm. But then Karen, <laughs> I heard the voice of my mm -hmm. grandmother tell me, Anna, God is able. She used to always tell me that, Karen. Nothing more than Anna, God is able. And it wasn't until I got to that lowest point that I recognized really what she meant, Karen. She meant that God is able to lift up my bow down head. She meant that God is able to heal every hurt in my heart. He was able to fill every void in me. See, God is able. Everything else, Karen, I used to do was a temporary fix. But I heard the voice of the Lord tell me that if I would just give him my heart, he would fill every space that was empty in me. So, girl, at my lowest point, he gave me enough strength to get up and go to church that day. I missed everything. I missed the choir singing. I missed the announcements. I missed everything, okay? But I heard the preacher tell me, we have not a high priest mm -hmm. which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity, but was in all points tempted as we are. Yet he was without sin. So then he said, let us come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And Karen, my, my life needed help so bad. That message that that preacher preached changed my life. Karen, it wasn't too long after that that I found out I had been living with HIV for a year. It had later turned into full-blown AIDS. Anna, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I am. You know what, Karen? There's a price we got to pay for sin. Yes. The wages of sin is death, the Bible says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Karen, I'm just so glad that he didn't take me while I was still in my mess. Mm -hmm. But he allowed me to get it right before I died. See, my mortal body may have been dying, but my spirit was going to live eternally with the Lord. And when I gave my life to the Lord, he gave me a peace that no man could take away, not even those doctors who diagnosed me. So at my lowest point, Karen, I had to tell the Lord, Lord, I give you my life. There is no other way to turn but you. So I had to tell him, Lord, have your own way. Have your own way in me.
Filling the sky. And I cannot wait to get I back. Can't wait, okay, I can't wait. Okay, who's next? Okay, let's see, let's see. We are now boarding Mr. and Mrs. William and Shirley Martin. Oh, that's us, Willie. Can you please get my bags? Don't grab my bags like that. Grab them by the handle. You know what, Shirley? I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. You can't believe what, Willie? Here it is all this time. I've been waiting on you to die so I can marry Beyonce. <laughs> And Shirley, we end up dying in the same car together. I can't even die in peace. What 
in the world makes you think that Beyonce wants anything to do with you? You old fat, blind buzzard. <laughs> blind? Who you calling blind? You. Shirley, I can see fine, as long as I ain't looking at you. Oh, you better watch it, sucker. No, nah, Shirley, it was a whole lot of stuff that I wanted to say when I was alive. But now that I'm dead, Shirley, say it. looking at you every day was like looking at an old sack of nickels. <laughs> you got lumps, you got bumps everywhere. I know you ain't talking. I didn't think it was humanly possible for one person to get bigger every day of his life. But you know what? My boyfriend Denzel, <laughs> He said it right. And what did your boyfriend Denzel say? King Kong ain't got nothing on you, monkey. <laughs> Shirley? What? You must be talking about your mama's old hair back self. That's what you're talking about. That's what you're talking about. Willie Francis? Uh-huh. Francis? You better keep my mama out your mouth. Listen, Shirley, I ain't leaving your mama out of nothing. You remember the story? That day we left her at the house there by herself. Yeah. I caught her shaving with one of my good razors. I think it was a Gillette, one of them. She was shaving her hair and back with it. And you get on my nerves. I'm I can't so talk you nowhere. You. Every time I you turn been around, on so what? I can't, 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 you must have been talking to her because you sure enough wasn't talking to me. And so if she was talking to me, you just gonna stand there and let her talk to me like that? Shirley, I stand here, I go over there. As a matter of fact, I get on the wing of this plane if this little girl can get me away from you. <laughs> I thought you loved me, Willie. I can't believe you. Mrs. Martin. What? Let's start over. We are your flight angels. <laughs> We're here to make sure you get on your flight. So you're an angel, huh? Willie, don't start you with these people. You gotta find me an angel. Oh. You know, that's Aretha, 1973. Her sister Carolyn wrote it. Man, come on, man, go on and fly. You want some theme music? I believe I can fly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I believe oh, I can fly. Oh, my God. Think about, Think about it every night and day. Willie! Think about it. 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 Yes. That's, this isn't funny. This is serious. You are about to board a flight to spend eternity in heaven or hell. Do you understand that? You know what? But you never respected God on earth. So I don't even know why no, I was going to think you going to respect him now. It's ridiculous. Only one woman talks to him like that. And that's me. Now listen. When it comes to Willie and Shirley Martin, God knows us. We gave so much money in church, not even asking where it was going. That's right. Sure. So when it comes to the Martins, God knows us by name, boo. But the question is, do you know him? Ooh. Yes, and the pardon of your sins. Do you understand that when you get there, he can say, depart from me, I never knew you? Your creator yeah. can say he never knew you. Do you understand that? All the ladies, please. God knows the mark. Show do. As a matter of fact, we gave money, me and Shirley, every time we went to the Show church. Show did. That's when we went, Shirley. Right. Anyway, my company helped Reverend Jenkins build a brand new big old church just last year. Show did. It was on Mac off Bewick, one on the street. Uh-huh. But I'm so, but you know what, as a matter of fact, while we talking about this, Shirley, you know they used to let me pray down there. Ooh, they show me and show them that you know how to pray, boo. Ooh, hallelujah. Excuse, get over this way. Hallelujah. Come on, little angel. Oh, no. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Bow your head. Uh-uh, shut them out.
Seven and Alaska. It's me, Lil Willie. And it's Shirley, too, Lord. From Dexter off Davidson. And Father. Oh, Father. We realize that you got so many names. Well, I don't even know where to begin. Woo! Stop from the beginning, Willie. So, Lord, I'm going to call you Jehovah Jireh. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Others might call you Jehovah Rapha. Uh huh. Some might call you Jehovah Tiskanu. Woo! Bless you, Willie. Bless you. Thank you, honey. And, Father. Not only do we know your name, Lord, but we're so glad that you're not so high that you don't know ours. For sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Talk about it, Willie. Talk about it. And they're always glad you came. Uh -huh. You want to go where peoples are the same. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Yes, it, Willie. Pray, Willie. And Father, oh, Father, oh, Father, we realize in this life, we must take the good. Uh -huh. We must take the bad. Uh -huh. We can take them both, and then we have the facts of life. Oh, wait a minute. Hallelujah. Willie, don't forget about Tootie. Lord, can you please bless Tootie? Oh, please. the world, it don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you? What might be right for you? What might be right for you? May not be right for some. And Lord, as I begin to close, Hallelujah. Lift your hands, daughter. I want you to know that if you ever threw a party Woo! and you invited everyone you knew, you would see that the biggest gift would be from me. And the kind attached would say, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Enough now. Did you just stop my husband's Ooh. prayer? Did you just stop his prayer? How you gonna What's be my... an angel when you don't like to pray, man? Shirley, find out who is supervising. Honey, don't please. worry about I got it. It's go. time to board. Please get got my bag board. and let's go. Uh, uh, Mr. Marvin, Ooh. please you leave those bags there. You won't need those bags. Oh, no, Where no, you no, going? no, 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 no. That right there is Versace's boo. Let's see. <laughs> you mean Versace? I know what it is. I bought it. It's Versace. Get my bags and let's go. Listen, the man said that you don't have to carry this bag, Cheryl. It's $45 to check this luggage. I ain't doing nothing. The man said, listen to what the man said. I ain't checking this luggage. I don't understand you, Willie. You always act like you broke. I'm sick of you. So that's why the whole verse of Matthew, <gasps> where it says, what is it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul means nothing to you? Leave them bags here. I'm so tired of you talking to me any kind of way. But you know what? My husband got some money, don't you? Yeah, I got a couple dollars. All right. We can get what we need when we get where we're going, which better be heaven. I Thank you. Move out of my way. Listen, Come on, Willie Francis. Please, please. Move. Move. I, I just thought about something. Okay. Could you please send somebody down there to look after my dog? I love that dog more than I love that woman back in there. That dog's name was Brandy. Mr. Martin, please don't. I no, please really don't. OJ's, 1976. 
call my name. Mr. Johnson, please return to your seat till your name is called. Look, I got a business to run. Hello? Yeah. Hold on, wait. Don't he know he did? <laughs> Ain't nobody on that phone. We know that. It's in the phone. And he knows that. <laughs> but he's so used to living a lie, he don't know when to stop. Some people just lie and lie. They just believe their own lie. But don't they believe in Revelations, where it says that all liars, they're going to have their place in a lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. And that's the second death. Yeah. Andrew, you're right. But some don't understand that, that after they die, there's mm. just no believing in them. <sighs> so much. Listen, we have our assignment. Oh, girl. To him that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Him which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Him that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And him that is holy, let him be holy still. So, who's next? Uh, Mother Brown. I love Mother Brown. Please, can I call her up, please? Sure, Angel. Go right ahead. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Now boarding Mother Willie Mae Brown. Now, wait a minute. I've been sitting here, and you done called all these names before me. Now, hold it. You have some respect for her. You hear me? Yeah. No, no, Pastor, let him go right on ahead. Mama been waiting a long time. She can wait a little longer. And besides, I wants to make sure you and Sister Karen gets oh. on your flight all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, ma'am, you ain't got to worry about him because uh, she got that covered. Oh. Ain't that right, bro? <laughs> Shut up. I'm oh, feeling oh. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Mr. Johnson. You really just, you, you just don't care, do you? There's not one humble bone in your body, is it? You are, when did you get to be this arrogant? You've lost respect for God, his authority, and his people. What happened? Your mother raised you better than that. My mother? Yes. You don't know nothing about my mother. My mother died in a one-room apartment in the projects. I tried to give her a better life than the sorry one I had growing up. But just because she didn't like the way I made my money, she died broke and alone. At least when I went out, everybody in the hood knew who Jesse Johnson was. Everybody knew JJ, baby. OK, yeah, um, what does that mean now, though? You? Little girl, if you don't get somewhere. No, 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 no. You too. No. Tell her. What does all that mean now? I mean, you, how did you get here? You got shot or something? You sit here talking about everybody knows J.J. Now everybody knows that J.J. is dead. Rest in Look, peace. little angel, first of all, I wasn't shot. That joker walked up and stabbed me. One of my closest boys, too. Hmm. Who even stabs people anymore? <laughs> well, I should have seen it coming. He had wanted my hood for the longest. Hmm. But that's all right. My boy has to make sure he gets his. Uh, are, you, are you serious? You have to face God for the things that you've done. And you're sitting here talking about revenge. revenge. Who does revenge. that? That's so stupid and child. Oh, so childish. Look who's talking. Exactly. Exactly. That's very so true. Oh right. my gosh, finally Dumb. we agree on something, right? That is crazy. Who would do something like that? I mean, I'm just saying, just get it together. This is judgment. Revenge, childish. 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 Revenge, yeah, revenge childish. Is, it's childish. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Check and go. I knew, I knew, I knew you. Oh Renee. my goodness. Oh my. OK, baby, you got to think on this I'm one. sorry. I didn't mean to. You got to think on this I didn't mean to. Okay. What was my favorite show? Will of Fortune. OK, before that, before that. Um, um, good time. OK, after that, after that. After first 48. Yes, baby, first 48. That was so fun. Oh, my Let's do baby. one more. Look, look, oh. look, look baby. Huh? First 48. That's oh, Monique Carter. Shh. Monique Carter, baby. Shh. I heard him know what they call. That's her. That's her. That's the one 
that killed her husband. She killed her husband. At the Piggly Wiggly. In North Carolina. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, she killed her husband. She killed her husband. She did. That was her. I saw it. Whoa, whoa. Get back. I don't play that. See the mad respect she got from Nene over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was shaking like a leaf on the tree. <laughs> she sure was. <laughs> How are you a thug at 60? <laughs> yeah. Don't let this suit fool you. I was born and raised in the hood. Hell can't be that bad. Oh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, you gonna see. This is first class, right? Because I don't do coach. Just boy. Just boy. Excuse me, sir. I've been trying real hard not to say nothing to you. But I want you to know that your game is over. You don't have nobody else left to impress, okay? It's over. What you talking about, baby? This is me. <laughs> you can take it or leave it. Please. I would tell you to mind your own business, but uh, I can see you got a little problem keeping your hands off things that don't belong oh, to you. Okay. Now, oh, for real? Now, 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 you hold on here one second, young man. That there's my pastor. That's a man of God. You gonna respect him as such? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just seeing things. This is first class, right? Just board your flight, sir, please. Now, I ain't got that a shame? Lord, Pastor, ain't that a shame? Here we are trying to uphold the bloodstained banner. And that young man could care less about the fact that he's about to spend eternity in hell. Pastor, I tell you, God is so good. I'm so glad that we made Mother, it. Mother, please. <laughs> oh. Pastor, I, I don't think I ever seen you so rude before. Mother, would you please stop calling me pastor? I stopped being your pastor long before we got here. Well, well, now, what do you mean, son? Mother, listen, that was me. That was me that you saw on the porch that sped off. I didn't want you to know it was me. That's why I sped off like that. That was me. Well, well now, I asked you that, son, it was it you and you, and you told me that it wasn't. And I, I just don't understand. It's just one thing to lie, but to lie about something simple is coming down my street. I don't understand. Uh, uh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Pastor, please tell me you didn't. Oh, no, no. Pastor, tell me you didn't, Pastor. Oh, no. Wait, Mother, Pastor. listen, listen, listen. Oh, listen, it, it, it was, it was, it was oh. just supposed to be counseling, but she turned it into more than that. Me? Yeah, you. You were the one that came to me and started telling me about the little problems you and your wife was having. I didn't tell you all of that so you could take advantage of me. Take advantage of you? You a grown man. Is you crazy? Mother, I did just what y'all asked me to do. I did everything your ex 
asked me to do. You said bring him to church. He didn't want to come to church. You said go to counseling. He didn't want that either. But you know what he did say? He said he didn't want to hear nothing, no money, hungry preacher had to say to him, that's what he said. And still I tried to cover you. I tried to tell him Pastor Mark's went like that. It still just was so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, Pastor, first of all, you ain't had no business going to a meeting with this pretty young lady without first lady being present in the first place. Mother, listen. I meet with all my department heads. You know that. You know what? This girl ain't had no business in the choir in the first place. Just because she the best singer in the church, she yet to receive the Holy Ghost. Don't you understand that when you go into worship, that you go into warfare with the devil? To go into worship without the Holy Ghost is like going to a gunfight with a bucket of water. See, it's people like you that made me promise to never step foot in the church again. Wait, you went to church before? I never knew that. People like me. I was a good pastor. I never mistreated any of those children. I never misused one dime of that church's money. I was a good pastor. But you know what, mother? I did not want this. My father dropped dead when I was 19. And y'all made me the pastor at 19. And then, to please y'all, you said, my pastor needs a wife. I get married to the very first woman I fell in love with, for y'all. And then here comes Karen, telling me all her stories about going to the club. Everybody in the club getting tips. I didn't know nothing about that. All I knew about was Bible class and Friday night service and church all day long. And I, I, just, I just wanted to see what I was missing. Son, absolutely nothing. Don't you understand why Karen came into the church in the first place? She came because of the love that you had right here already. Mother, okay. You've been saved all your life. All right, I understand. You, you, you don't know a thing of what I'm talking about. No, baby, you don't understand and you don't know a thing. Just because you see a little gray in somebody's hair, y'all think I ain't been through nothing. Shoot, how you think I got the gray in the first place? Y'all youngins running around here thinking night rambling just started when y'all came. Baby, I done done, Lord Jesus, and seen more stuff than you can even think of. But I sure ain't about to stand here and tell you about it. It's one of the problems with the church today. We like to glorify in the things that we used to do. Get around each other. Them old mangy men get to saying, yeah, doc, I got one on this side rubbing my back. One on this side cooking my dinner, them old stinky guns. Come around talking about I got one getting my hair done, the other one getting my nails done. What well, a devil is a liar. Apostle Paul said it best when he said, forgetting those things which are behind. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling. Children, don't y'all understand it when you get saved? Got to let the stuff go that you used to do. Got to put aside every weight and run this race. Wait, mama, you never told me you went to church before. The only thing you told me about church was church was a joke. Preachers was lying and half the folks sitting there that were hypocrites. Okay, so was I lying? Do you see him? Look at her. Was I lying to you? 
telling you the truth. Now you just hold on one minute here, young lady. God, turn around here and look at me. Now one man's fault ain't the fault of the whole body. See, the church wasn't established on no man. This church was established on a rock. The rock. I don't care if every preacher you ever meet is a liar. God said, God's word is true when he said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. I care if your whole family ain't living worth nothing. He didn't tell you to be holy if they was holy. But he said, Be ye if I am holy. That's what he said. Look, mother, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. All they want to hear is I'm going to get a car on Thursday. I'm going to get a refrigerator on Friday. I'm going to get a man on Saturday. So guess what? I told them what they wanted to hear. They don't want to hear holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. I told them what they wanted to hear. But what about me? What about me? I needed to hear if I didn't live the life that God has called and ordained me to live, I was going to hell. That's what I needed. I, I, I know I didn't have the Holy Ghost. I didn't, I didn't think it would be so easy if I was tempted to turn my back on God. I promise I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God help me. Baby, you know my great grandbaby would have loved to have had my famous sweet potato pie every night for dinner but how much dessert can one have baby what a baby needs is some meat and some substance that's what the church is lacking today some meat and some substance i don't know about you but honey when the storms of life gets to blowing i need something that's gonna hold me He never told me. She told me to stay away from that place. It's not my fault. You have to do something come about here. it. Andrea, just come here, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby, please. I was just trying to spare you from being hurt, honey. How? By not telling me what I needed to know, Mama, oh, excuse me, Nay Nay. I'm so sorry. You gotta forgive me, please. Andrea, before I had you, baby, I didn't tell you you're right. I was in church every week. I went to every single service. And I did everything they asked me to do. Mother, they said, wear your skirts longer, so I did that. They said, close your blouse up. I did that too. I did everything they asked me to do because I just wanted to be saved. I wanted to live right. I really, really did. But then, Andrea, Andrea, I met your father. And slowly but surely, I started drifting away from the church. And look at me, baby. Let me tell you something right now. I love you. I love you. And I do not regret having you. You were the best thing that ever happened to me. You got to believe that. But when I had you out of wedlock, I knew God wasn't pleased with my life. I knew it. So I went back to the church and I tried to get it right, Mother. I tried, I tried, I really did. But do you think when I walked back in that door, do you think the saints welcomed me with open arms? No! No, they didn't. You know what they said to me? The saints said to me that it was my fault. I had no business leaving the church. If I wouldn't have never left the church, it wouldn't have never happened. It wasn't no mistake, girl. You knew what you were doing when you did. They did not tell me that I was the first one to ever have a baby out of wedlock and that God still loved me. They didn't put their arms around me. But what they did do, Mother, all they wanted 
to do was condemn me. And it hurt me so bad. The place that's supposed to heal me hurt me. But I had already beat up on myself enough that I refused to walk back in the doors of the church and let them beat up on me some more. So I did. I did. I did leave the church. And I made a vow that I would never step foot in another church again. So y'all say what y'all want to say about me. I really don't care. You don't know the hurt I'm experiencing. Mother, look. What, what am I supposed to do? What, tell me, what am I supposed to do when I get up in the pulpit and preach against sin and preach against these girls coming in the church having babies out of wedlock? I don't preach about it, then they kids come in and they're having children out of wedlock. But if I get up and say something about it, I'm condemning. Then you got husbands and wives that are supposed to be examples. They come in church and can't stand one another. Won't even sit next to each other in church. But when I get up and say something about it, I'm condemned. You know what it is? You want a form of godliness, but you deny the power. You can't have it both ways. Can't have it. You know, Joshua 24, 15 says, If it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose ye this day whom ye will serve, whether it be the God your father served on the other side of the flood, or whether it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell, but... Ask for me in my house. We're going to serve the Lord. Now, that's the book, mother. That's the book. Galatians 6 and 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in his faults, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself, lest thou shalt also be tempted. That's the same one. Go, mama. When are y'all going to stop and learn that you're putting your lives in the hands of man? Ain't nobody but God got a heaven or hell to put us in. But baby, but daughter, it's your choice. Eternity, where you spend eternity, baby, is your choice. Are y'all listening to yourselves? Instead of each and every one of you taking responsibility for the things that you've done, y'all all standing around here blaming somebody else. Lord, have mercy on us. She never told me. Okay, Andrea, listen. We're now boarding. Miss Renee, oh, oh God, no, 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 Spencer, Miss no, Andrea no, Spencer, Mr. Stephen Mark, Mr. Karen Green, Mr. Mercy, told us to be ready because he's coming back like a thief in the night he told us to get our houses in order because he's coming back and we all got to sing 
He's coming back like a thief in the night, in the moment of a twinkling of an eye. I read where it says, Behold, I show you a mystery that we shall not all sleep. We shall be changed. At the last trump, we shall be changed. We're fixing the same right now, ain't we? But that's why I live my life ready. I told him every day, Lord, wash me again and clean me some more and save me again. And Lord, deliver me some more. Keep me, Jesus. Because I don't just want to see as my judge, but I want to see him as my Lord and my Savior. Oh, I want to see him. Look upon his face. Yes, yes. There to sing forever. Ah, his shame, shame and grace. On the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice. Cares all past. Home at last. Ever to rejoice. Oh, I call him Jesus. burns me down it's Jesus, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know I know his love's all around hey Jesus Here. When I got off my flight, those angels told me to wait here. 
Yeah, um, I ain't see you on that flight. Your flight? Yeah, we you. You would think that you're the only one you're concerned about. This is not about you. No, 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 baby, baby. Come on, that's enough. I think she just wants to know how you died to get exactly. your flight. Right. That's it. I don't want to talk about it. Come, come on, you can tell us. I'm here because I was in a car accident. She don't want to my wife can't drive. That's well, it don't here. start with me. I said I don't want to talk about it. Okay, y'all, leave her alone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I bet anything, they don't even realize that I'm gone yet. Huh? They, who? They who, Keisha? Who are you talking about? Anybody! Okay. My mom, my sisters, anybody! Wait a minute, how your family doesn't know you died? Why? Not like I made a big announcement before I did it. Oh. Before you did what? Oh Kisha, what did you do? Oh my God. She, she, oh. oh my God. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. You are so young. What in the world would make you do something like this? <gasps> oh my God. Wait a minute. What did she do? Oh, oh, she oh, what? I need y'all to pay hey. attention. Pay attention. <laughs> the girl apparently committed suicide. Oh, well, I can't. Come on. No. Kisha, did you really? What in the world would make you want to do something like that? Right. Like you care. You never cared about me. Do you know that we've attended the same school together since the third grade and your daughter barely even knows my name? It's Keisha. You and Tracy just met each other in ninth grade and you're best friends with her. But I'm just the girl that sits behind Brian and sings down English. You know what? It's not just you. It's everybody. Nobody wanted to be friends with me. It's okay. Nobody wanted to talk to the creepy, shy girl. Dre, I heard the names you called me. I saw when you pointed and laughed at my shoes. Those were the only shoes that I had. There were days that I would have rather walked to school barefoot than to come with those busted shoes on. They were the only ones that I had. Keisha, I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. But what about your baby? <laughs> baby. You, kidding you me? had a baby, girl? I just did that. You just a baby yourself! What in the world would make you oh, do something like that? God. That baby needed you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well to let my mother tell it, I was never a good mom anyway. Just like her. Just another teenage girl getting knocked up at 15. Now surely your mother didn't tell you that. Oh, she made sure she did. Every day since my son got here. But I know what you're talking about. It's 
just that feeling that you get when you feel like everyone in the world hates you, but you, you hate yourself even more. To look in the mirror and be absolutely disgusted by what you see, Keisha, I sat in jail with that same feeling for two years. Told y'all, I told y'all. Would you, would you, yeah, would you shut up? Uglies, y'all shut up. It was two years before they decided I killed my husband in self-defense. It was not murder. Same thing, same thing. Oh, God. Miss Carter, if, if you don't mind me asking, what happened? See, what had happened was... We had a Uh-uh, thank you, sit down. Thank Ooh, you sit down, ugly. Uh -huh. Well, I guess she can tell the story better. It's her story anyway. I was just trying to give y'all the information Wait, that I know. Oh, thank, thank you. Whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Anna. <laughs> Anna, my husband was a good man. He was a really good man. I mean, he was a great provider, and he was an even better father. He worked at the plant, so he took the buyout, and, and he opened up his own repair shop. And Matt, Matt was staying in that shop day and night, making sure everything was perfect. But then the economy took a turn for the worst. And we lost our home. He lost his job. And Matt had to move us back in with my mother. I mean, he hated the fact that he had to move his family back in with my mother. He said it made him feel less of a man. Well, he was. Okay. Now, 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 there you go. Thank you. Y'all got one more time to interrupt this girl while she's telling her story. One more time. Did you say go that? Down. I said one more time. Go ahead, baby, with your story. Yeah. Uh. woman, man. I started seeing changes in Matt. I mean, at first, it was a drink to calm his nerves. Then it was a drink to help him get through the day. And then it was a drink to help him go to bed at night. And after that, it wasn't a time that you did not see Matt. And he was not drunk. I remember that day in the garage. He met me drunk again. And he started to yell at me. Mm. You think you better than me, don't you? Cause you got a job and I don't. And I didn't understand that. I mean, I knew we were going through a hard time, but I had his back. And he grabbed me. And he started choking me and yelling at me. You think you better than me, don't you? Imagine the man you love choking you. Imagine the man you love choking you. I tried, I tried to scream and I tried to get him off me, but I could not get him off of me. So I grabbed the closest thing to me and I hit him. I hit him. I wasn't trying to hurt him. I just wanted to get him off of me. <laughs> a few weeks later, he was in the hospital and he slipped into a coma and he died. Oh God! A few weeks later, due to his his injuries. Uh huh. See, a hammer will do that to you. Oh, shut up! Please shut up! Please. Oh, Too much. It's so weird. You went to jail for trying to stop your husband from choking you? That's what she said. Right. Oh, you know what, y'all can tell me to be quiet all y'all want to. I really don't care, okay? All I know is her husband's family said that she was the one that put too much pressure on him and that's what caused him to drink. Her husband's family also said that she was the one that started the fight when she came home from her job. That was the story on First 48. Channel 48. Oh, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Ask we me. Think like I said. Whatever. People believe what they want to believe, whether you're telling the truth or not. That's right, baby. Hey. So you mean to tell me, Miss Carter, that you sat in jail for two years for trying to defend yourself? That's great. And it was the worst two years of my life. Not being able to 
see my baby was tortured. But I refuse to let her see me locked up like some animal. Mm. The man I had was gone. And I, I just can't get out of my mind that he allowed the pressures of life to overtake him. Keisha, you don't know how many nights I sat in that jail and I wanted to take my own life. I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I failed. What stopped you from trying again? <laughs> My mom would send me CDs of her pastor preaching. And, well, since there's nothing else to do but look at the walls all day, I figured, hey, what could it hurt? But you know this one? particular message was about Paul in jail for a crime that he did not commit. Oh, yes. That message changed my life. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, mm -hmm. and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed, and they sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. Keisha, mm -hmm. I had already lost everything, honey, everything that mattered to me. So what was praying going to hurt? So I began to pray to God, and I felt him. I felt him come into that cell with me. Mm, yes. And he said to me, Lo, I'm with you always, always, even to the end of the world. Oh, and I knew I couldn't get any lower. So I knew, I knew he had to be with me. Then he spoke to me and he said to me, if you were to just give me praise, yes. I'd open those doors for you just like I did for Paul and Silas. Talk about and that you. is what I did. I didn't care who hurt me. Yes. It wasn't too long after that. My attorneys asked for a retrial and that same judge, mm. not a new one, not Nene, not Andrea, but the same judge, mm who told me I was guilty had to tell me that I was a free woman. Mm, my God. God today. Girl, God is so good. I want you to know he is so good. Yes, he's he so is good. God. He is good. But baby, you way better than me. Because uh, two years in prison, yeah. all women <laughs> never could have made it. Never would have made oh, it. Sit down. Oh, no. Marvin Sapp, 2007. Oh, oh, well, why am I here? Hug. Yeah, me. I had a plan. Oh, God. God. I had a future, mm. unlike you. Like, oh. And you know what? I was determined. <laughs> I was not going to be like her. Be like who? Like my mother. Do you know that there was not a single day that went by and I didn't see her high, drunk, or both? Mm -hmm. So you know she put me off on my grandparents. And I didn't want them to have to do nothing for me. So I put myself through college, and I worked a full-time job. That's right, I paid my dues. And I earned every last dime that I made myself. And my Nana, she would tell me, girl, you better give praise to God. And you know what I told her? Why would I give God all the credit? Oh, I was the one up at 3 a.m. writing all those papers. Mm. Then my papa, he would tell me, girl, you're going to have to lose that pride when you stand before God. Mm. He would say that every knee is going to have to bow. That's what it says. And that means you too, daughter. Mm. Oh. Well, what have I got to lose, Papa? Mm. I'm here now. Mm. And God, 
God, if you can hear me, I am sorry. Oh, I'm sorry now. Oh, I am. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa, I understand your hurt, baby. Come here, honey. Come here, honey. You know, you know, we talk about, we talk about men not being fathers all the time. But we don't realize that every woman that has a child ain't a mother either. I had no idea what I was doing when I, when I had Andrea. But I was determined. I was determined that I was not going to let her grow up and be as naive about life as I was. So if she was going to learn anything, she was going to learn it from me. She was going to learn what to do and how to do. So I did everything I knew to do in raising her. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I taught my baby how to put on some clothes, how to put on some makeup, how to be cute. And I told her, if you go to the club, leave your drink on that table. Don't you come back to it. Just leave it there. I taught her that. Mm. <laughs> I taught her, I said, I said, Andrea, if you need a ride, don't you get in cars with men that you don't know. I taught her that. I taught her, I taught her always look out for yourself. Right. Because ain't nobody in this world gonna look out for you but who? But you. But you. That's right. I taught her that. I did everything I knew to do. I did. And you know what? But you were there. The best way I knew how, Lisa. Sounds like you had. All the bases covered. I Papa. sure did. Except for one thing. What? What about your baby's soul? Now, you didn't taught her all the do's and don'ts and the shortcuts and how to get by. But now she's got to stand before the, the great throne and there ain't no shortcuts, ain't no getting back. What about now, baby? Hello? If you wanted somebody to play with, you should have went and got a dog. You have the responsibility to be her mother. The Bible! Don't you dare stand here and tell me what the Bible says! I know what the Bible says. I was raised in the church. Get out of my face. How dare you! How dare you come to me about a Bible? How dare you? I messed up. I messed up. I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her. It's my fault, Andrea. My baby's sweet. Andrea. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Andrea, just listen. I'm, I'm gonna talk to him, okay? Please. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him it was my fault, baby. Okay. I'm gonna tell him it was my fault. What did I do, Andrea? Don't you know if I could, I would. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm messed up and I'm sorry, Lord. Andrea. I love you, baby. I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk to him, okay? Okay? Look at me. I'm gonna talk to him for you, okay? Okay? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Okay?
Take your seats as the judgment will now begin. Entering the courtroom at this time is the ruler of darkness. He's the prince of the power of the air, the wicked one, and the father of lies. Standing as the prosecuting attorney, Satan, the accuser. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Hold it, hold it, hold it man. You, you ain't no match for him. He'll kill you. That ain't no devil. That's a joker to stab me. What? what? No. That's that gun that gave me eight. No. What? Okay. Really? Really? Ain't that the man that hit us? No. no. That's the one that sold me that way. What? Yes. That's the man that got me pregnant. No. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And now at this time, we'd like to present to some and introduce to others God the Son, the bread of life, the great high priest, the chief shepherd, the horn of salvation. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the king of kings and the Lord of Lords. He's a chief oh, born of stone, the lamb without blemish, standing as a lead defense attorney and advocate, the one true Christ, Jesus, our Lord. Now all rise for the creator of all. He's God the Father. He's Elohim, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Tiskanu, Jehovah Shama. He's the Almighty, the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He's the great I am. You may all be seated. The angel will call the first case. We may begin. Yes, Your Honor. The court calls case number 7351-2656, Miss Anna Smith. Miss Anna Smith, <laughs> please step forward. Angel, please turn the book over to the defense. My son, please verify that Miss Anna Smith's name is listed in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hold up. I have something I want to say about this. I mean, if you don't mind. You may speak. Speak, speak. <laughs> See, this right here is one of my most faithful girls. Anna. Let's tell them about the two abortions that nobody knows anything about. Let's talk about the two different men that didn't even know you was pregnant. <laughs> now, I know it's right there in the Ten Commandments, right? I believe it's Exodus chapter <laughs> something. But I know it's thou shalt not kill. This woman right here is a murderer. Surely you don't want murderers walking around in heaven, right? I am aware of that. All right. Well, let's talk about the fact that she hasn't even been saved that long. She just accepted your son like two, three weeks ago? Yeah. Come on. There got to be some type of waiting period before you can just die and go to heaven. I mean, you can't even get benefits on your job until you worked at least 90 days, right? Objection, Your Honor. Isn't this the same argument we've heard time and time again? Objection sustained. <laughs> the prosecution and I bring this matter up several times before. Yes, I did. And I still have the same argument. This woman is a Objection. sinner. Objection was a sinner. Same thing, same thing. Your Honor, 
This woman prayed in my name and asked you to save her. Now, according to your word, you stated in Romans chapter 10 and 13, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Huh. What verse is that? Your Honor, the defense moves to dismiss all charges against Miss Anna Smith. For in spite of what she's done in her past, as of three weeks ago, her name does appear in the Lamb's Book of Life. Case dismissed. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Angel, please call the next case. Yes, Your Honor. The court calls case number 7351-2657, Mr. William Martin. Now this gonna be easy. Uh oh. Well, baby. Yes. I need you to be strong. Now you go up there, you talk real nice to him. It's my turn now. Talk real nice. He got her off on two abortions. You talk nice, will it? Please. Jesus. It's you. I love you so much. Lord, you blessed me to see so many. I mean, so many. <laughs> so many, so many great marvelous things. Yeah. God, you sure do. <laughs> and I love you, Jesus. You blessed Willie with so much money that he turned his back on you. Uh, no, 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 I didn't, Jesus. See, when Willie was in the hood, oh, no. oh really used to pray. Trust me. Yes, See, Willie didn't know where his next meal was coming from. See, when he was broke, he had no choice but to put his trust in you. But I told you, as soon as you give Willie a little money, he was going to turn his back on you. I mean, when was the last time Willie been to church, huh? Yes. yes. And when he do pray, he tell you that it's Willie from Dexter and Davis. He knows he ain't talk to you. I know I got this one. Come on, I'm gonna need everybody to get this one. Why did you leave me, William? Why? Jesus, I didn't leave you. You're the lily of the valley. You're the bright and morning star, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. You're the God of every nation, bless your name. And Lord, I really appreciate you. That girl just left him up here. She didn't have one, but she had two abortions. Two? Two? She had two. You got to be able to help me out. Oh. It's Willie, Billy, Willie, William. William. It's in that book. See, Willie will pay you. Oh, he'll <laughs> pay you. I mean, how much do it cost to get up in here? Peace. That's enough. I'm sorry. Time for judgment. Son of God, is Mr. William Martin's name listed in the Lamb's Book of Life? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. I'm sorry, Your Honor. No, 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 no. It is not. Depart from me. I never knew you. Angels carry this soul into everlasting torment. Call the next case. The court calls case number 7351-2658, Mr. Jesse Johnson, Jr. Y'all are making this too easy. Lord, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, Lord. I know you now, Lord. I know you now. I didn't mean all that. I really didn't. It was the people I was hanging around. I'm sorry, Lord. I believe now, Lord. Jesse, blessed is the man that believes and has never seen. 
Your mother was a living example before you, yet you refused to follow. I'm sorry, Jesse. My son, does Jesse Johnson's name appear in the Lamb's Book of Life? I'm sorry, Father. Oh, it does not. Oh. Depart from me. I never knew you. Come on, JJ. Hell can't be that bad, right? Everybody's waiting on JJ, baby. Get him, boy. Oh, no. No. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, Jesus, I served you, I preached for you, thousands, thousands were one and are in this book because of my ministry, Lord, people were healed because of my ministry, have mercy, have mercy on me. Jesus, please. Jesus, please. 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 I'm so sorry. I, I brought so many people to you just through my singing alone. So many people came to me. You gotta give me a chance. Please, Jesus. I've always accepted your praise. Yes, sir. It was your lifestyle that I rejected. Oh, God. My word says that you are to present your bodies a living sacrifice, <laughs> holy, acceptable unto God. Jesus. And that was the least you can do after Jesus. all I've done for you. I did, Jesus. But you both have turned your backs no. on me. Jesus, I no. And now, oh, I must do the same. Jesus. Jesus. No. Time for judgment. No. Don't do that. Please. My son, does Stephen Please. Mark's name Please. appear in the Lamb's oh, Book of Please. Life? I'm sorry, Father. No, it does no. not. Depart no, from me. No. I never knew you. My son. Does Karen Green's name appear in the Lamb's Book of Life? I'm sorry. It does not appear in the Lamb's Book of Life. Depart from me, for I never knew you. Please. Call the next case. The court calls case number 7351-2661, Miss Monique Carter. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Jesus, you, I really, I, listen, I, I did not, I, he was choking me and, and, I, and I just couldn't get him off me. And I didn't mean to kill him, please, please, Jesus, have mercy, Jesus. Listen, I, oh! She just admitted to you that she's a murderer. No, 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 no. We don't no. have to go no further. Listen, no, Boys, <laughs> Jesus, no, please, don't believe it. <laughs> didn't mean it. No! 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 Get your hands no! off of my daughter. Whoa. Now, it's right there to take commandments. Thou shalt not kill. Now, I'll let you take one murderer. I was under the impression that all murderers belong to me. Boys, take her out of here. I said, turn her loose. You've been living beneath your privilege for so long. Don't worry about the names that they called you. <laughs> but rejoice, for I have called you forgiven. That night that you called me into that jail cell, I held you 
and comforted you until you fell asleep. Oh, daughter, you were forgiven then. Not only did I free you from that physical cell, but that spiritual cell as well. My son, Thank you. does Monique Carter's name appear in the Lamb's Book of Life? Ah, Father, I'm so pleased to announce that the blood is no longer on her hands, ah, but on mine. Ah. Yes, Your Honor, Monique Carter's name does appear in the Lamb's Book of Life. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Court calls case number 7351-2663, Miss Keisha Henderson. Okay, okay. Shh. This was my favorite. Just go, just go. Just go. Jesus, I know I messed up. I just wanted the pain to stop. I have a son, I have a family, they need me. Please just give me another chance. I promise, I promise I won't make any more mistakes. Jesus, please, you have to help me. Keisha, I ask that you cast all your cares upon me, for I have cared for you. But you held on to hurt and pain that didn't belong to you. No. Ah, there was no need for you to tear your body out, for mine was already torn for you. I was wounded for your transgressions. I was bruised for your iniquities. My stripes, Keisha, had already purchased your peace. No. Time for judgment. No, 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 you have to do something. My, no, my son, does Keisha son, Henderson's please, name please, appear please, Jesus, in the please. Lamb's Book of Life? I'm sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> it's not, it does not. You lied to me. Why would you Depart do from me. I on, never I knew you. I got plenty of blades for you to choose from. The court calls case number 7351-2664. Miss Lisa White. Wait. Wait a minute. Now you wait a minute. Look, I was just trying to better myself and get my education. I was just trying to prosper. That's it. Nothing more. That's more. it. Lord, you gave me everything. You gave me all of that money. And I gave you the glory for it all. You blessed us. They told me. They told me I only had one life to live, Lord. Who told you that? I don't know. Why would you allow him to no. convince you that you only have one life to live? Don't touch me. Don't you know that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life? You had the opportunity at life again. That's right. Okay. But without the weight of this flesh, I had new bodies being prepared for you okay. this whole time. Okay. okay. But look, Jesus, I know you didn't want us walking around all broken, tired no, all the time. No, you didn't no. want that. You wanted us to prosper. You said that. Lisa, you are so right. Yes, I'm right. I wanted above all things that you would prosper yes. and be in good health. Yes. Even as thy soul shall prosper. No, no, no. No. Your soul was no. my first concern, Lisa. No. For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world no. and to lose his own soul? No. Time for judgment. No, wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. No. My son, does God. Lisa White's God. name appear yes. in the Lamb's yes. Book of Life? I yes. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Oh, my God. It's oh, my God. I got to Depart you. from me. Please. I never please. knew you. Please, Jesus. my son. Please, please. 
Does Shirley Martin's Please. name appear mercy, mercy, in the God. Lamb's Book of Life? Mercy. I'm sorry. No, mercy. It does God. not. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Big Willie waiting on you, Shirley. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here. The court calls case number 7351-2665. Mother Willie May Brown. <laughs> See, this gonna be a little hard. But I want everybody to remember when she used to gossip and talk about folks like a dirty dog. Now you've been saved, but let's talk about when you used to cuss like a sailor. <laughs> Your Honor, I remember nothing of what this man speaks. <laughs> but I do remember May the 9th, 1957. Yeah, 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 that was uh, a Thursday night. Uh, it was a Thursday night. Uh, uh, she called on my name. Yes, uh, Lord. Uh, I told him, I told him, wash me again and clean me some more. You remember that Jesus? I said, fix me some more. Remember that Jesus? My son, yes. does Willie Mae Brown's name appear in the Lamb's Book of Life? Ah, yes, Your Honor. Mother Willie Mae Brown's name does appear in the Lamb's Book of Life. Well done. Ah! Welcome home, daughter. Court calls case number 7351-2666. Miss Andrea Spencer. Oh, okay, wait. Wait a minute, Jesus. Wait a minute, please. Please, please. Please, it wasn't my fault. Yes, it was my fault. I, I didn't tell her, she please. She never told me, Jesus. Please, this is my baby, please. Please don't take my child from me, Lord. Please, please, this is my child. Ah, Renee. Please. I know those words all too well. Because those are the same words I would say to you every time I saw you reject me and turn to him. That's my child who keeps walking away from me. That's my child who won't even talk to me. That's my child who won't even come and ask me to help her so that I can save her. Help me, Lord. Please help me, Lord. She never told me, Jesus. Ah, uh, Andrea. Yes. You have to know that I would never let one person's Ooh, mistake allow you, another to miss out. Oh, I go this way, Jesus. Thank you. This way. Thank you, Jesus. Over oh, here, Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, Woo! That's why I sent you Erica. Huh? <laughs> you remember Erica? No. Who's Erica? The young lady you went to high school with who tried to witness to you. No. But yet you laughed at her and you even got others to laugh with you. No, Jesus, Rhea. Surely you remember Pastor Greg. No, Jesus. The youth pastor no, at the church you would visit with your grandmother no. before you allowed your mother to convince you to stop attending church at all. No. Andrea, you felt my presence. No, Jesus, you knew I was real. Renee, yes, you let your disbelief in man allow you to turn away from me. I'm sorry. Jesus. 
Jesus, please. Please, please Jesus. Please, Jesus, please. Jesus, I'm begging you. Time for Jesus. judgment. Please, please, I want to okay. go that My way. My son. Please. Does Andrea Spencer's yes, name please, appear yes. in the Lamb's yes, Book yes, of Life? Yes, Jesus. Please, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Ah! Ah! Depart from me, for I never knew you. Please. My son. Please have mercy on me. Please, Lord. Please. Does Renee Spencer's please. name please. appear please. in the Lamb's Book of please. Life? Please, Lord. Please. I'm sorry, no, Ron. No, 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 no. It does not. No. You can go get Save your baby me. now. Save me, Lord. I love you. Please. Please, Lord. Please. Please don't let them take. Please, Lord. Please don't let them take. Depart from me, I never knew you. <laughs> Guess my job is done, huh? Same time, same place tomorrow? Your days are numbered. <laughs> Keep going. Awesome job, my lord. Oh, thank Great you, job. Captain. Thank you, but oh, it's just not enough. There's still so many unsaved souls. Oh, our work is not done yet, Captain. Jesus, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, this new saint just trying their robes, and they look beautiful. You have oh, to see it. Send them in. Ah. Uh.